what am I even drawing? Like, I know this is supposed to be Kukul Khan, the plumed serpent, but these shapes on the back of him, like these, these little, they look like little leaves, I guess. I, I suppose they're supposed to be feathers because, you know, that would make sense if he's a plumed serpent. And he's kind of like a guy in a weird costume, but I don't know. There were so many points in this drawing that I was just like, I don't know what I'm drawing here. Just random little details, but I'm copying what I see. So <laughs> I don't know. What do you think they're supposed to be? Like, is it leaves, feathers, are they horns, or are they just random shapes? You tell me. So I had full intentions of drawing my own thing in this style, but after creating this mood board, I'm like, there is a lot to go from, I mean, there's just so much to go on here that I need to first learn how to draw. So I, the best way to do that, I figured, was to copy something. So I picked something from my mood board to copy, and, uh, then I hope that maybe next time, if, if, if you want, if I want, if the universe wants me to then, who am I kidding? I'm gonna probably do it. But anyway, uh, let me know if you'd like to see me draw something else in this style. In this case, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna trace this guy and see what we can learn about Mayan art. So pretty interesting. Now, I did something that you shouldn't do here that is, I did a, more of like a straight ahead drawing. I didn't do any any construction lines. I was trying to, because well, there are so many details. I don't know where you would even begin. Well, I mean, I guess there's always a, a way to do construction lines. Making circles for his body, you know, to get the, the, the proportions ironed out. So in retrospect, I should have done that, but I was very intimidated by all these uh, details and I wanted to just like kind of start so that's what I did. Uh, maybe some regrets, but I think it, I think it turns out okay. So what we're looking at here is Kukul cool, cool Khan, the plumed servant, serp, serpent uh, god from the ancient Mayan culture. The Mayans lived in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. They are the ones that built Chichen Itza, which is this cool temple, which I went to, I would recommend it. It was a pretty cool place to visit. Anyway, so let's talk about Cool Cool Can. Um, like I said, what do you see in this picture? So, I mean, I didn't really analyze it before I started drawing. It was while I was drawing that I was like, what's on this? What, what, what kind of thing is this? So what I understand here is it is a person in a sort of dragon outfit, uh, I guess serpent outfit, because if you'll see here, this looks like a second head. Is that not a dragon head that's kind of like opening its mouth and then this guy is emerging from it in just, you know, the way the costume is designed? And then you got his two feet down there that are like two serpent tails. And uh, what throws me off are some of the parts of this quote unquote dragon by his neck here. Like, are these horns and tongues? Or am I, is this, am I making that all up? Do you not see a dragon head there? I mean, be honest with me. <laughs> Am I, am I crazy? Then <laughs> uh, the things on the back also, I feel like are just random designs, but that can't be. Nobody does random designs on, yeah, they do all the time. I guess that's just my design uh, critic in me where when, you, when you're doing graphic design, you know, every element and thing has a purpose, right? But when you're just doodling or sketching, maybe not, that's not the case. Maybe these, curly little shapes on him don't necessarily have a, a purpose. They're just for fun. I don't know. I find that hard to believe. If this is an authentic like Mayan, Mayan drawing, I would think that there's some rich history behind this and every little detail, but you know, I'm probably overthinking it. So I don't know. The, like the things on the back, I don't know what those are, but anyway, it was, it was fun to draw something as, as complexly detailed as this was because Again, as, uh, like most of my challenges, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone and it's a new style and it just, you know, took some concentration and extra focus. Um, yeah, then here we have, I believe his headdress, you know, headdresses are a thing in, in this culture. I guess this part is supposed to be his hair up there and then a little bit of a, this right here, there's on his chin, there is a, uh, I think the headdress is attached to his chin somehow. Anyway, 
you know what? I'm just realizing that I actually did use construction lines a little bit. So I did that first small sketch. Um, I feel like if I used solid shapes instead of the curvy shape, it might have worked out a little bit better because it just tends to work that way. But um, end of the story, moral of the story is doing a sketch, a little, at least a little bit of a sketch first like I did here, uh, makes helps you get in the form late, the, 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 the general form and then um, you don't have to be so worried about the details so then when you come in here and do the, the line art, you know, the confident lines, which honestly my lines don't look so confident there, <laughs> they're a little squiggly, but uh, you can have something to kind of go off of, a reference, so they kind of trace your, uh, your draft, so yeah, definitely, you know, it takes time, it takes time. Oh, well, I couldn't get that hand there, so I just, uh, just cheated a little bit, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. So uh, let's skip ahead a little bit. And then once it got to this point, I realized that I was in for much more than I than I knew I was in for. These details was going to take some time, so I just. Uh, uh, you know, you, you just get in the mood, maybe put in some music, and then just start drawing these circles and these shapes and these patterns. And it kind of gets repetitive at this point, but uh, I know that if I put in the work, that the details, once they come together, they will really add to the overall impact of this image. So, got to do those details. Yes. So, uh, let's, let's go ahead and show you the finished product. Sure had a lot of fun making this. Um, there it is. I think it turned out pretty great for my first time doing this style and trying something new and uh, trying to copy this image. I think I did pretty good, you know. Honestly, I'm very proud of the proud of this, and I, it, it encourages me to do it some more. I would like to now maybe step out of the box a little bit and try my own art, but in this style and draw something else. But what should I draw? I don't know, that's a good question. What do you think I should draw in the Mayan art style? If you have any bright ideas, I appreciate the input. So let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to keep drawing, do, do what you gotta do to be, be creative. And uh, as always, remember to smile.